All right, so today we're gonna upgrade my Dell XPS 9710 from 16 gigabytes of RAM to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So let's check them out. I got a little rambunctious there, so I should clarify just in case anyone thinks I'm a liar. Let's go to Task Manager. More details, performance. So this is my Dell XPS 9710, the i7-11800H and the 3060 you can see for memory we currently have 16 gigabytes of ram two of two slots to use so two eight gigabyte sticks these are two 16 gigabyte sticks 3200 megahertz also 3200 megahertz all right so you can see even just idle we're using about eight gigabytes of ram so i mean idle i say idle but i have Stuff in the background here, Epic Games, of course, and Dropbox and whatnot. So I'm a firm believer that you need a lot of RAM. So let's take a look at how to do it. So I'm gonna use this iFixit toolkit. So this guy here has a little grooves to hold your screws, which is nice. I am gonna take my watch and my ring off. I don't know if that matters, but technically you should be wearing this little wrist strap that comes in here, but I'm not going to because I am a bad person. All right, so it's a little hexagon looking shape. It seems like it fits pretty good right there. That's a Torx T5. So we'll put the Torx T5 there. Again, that's one you can hold and twist. It's pretty nice. I've, of course, powered the device down. I have it set on top of a Razer mouse pad. So it looks like it's green and it looks like the power's on, but it's not. Every video I saw about this said it was terrible to take this guy off. So we'll just see how that turns out to be. See, just hold it and twist. This, uh, I'll tell you what, this little I fix it kit, it's pretty nice. Especially when you got big hands like me and you have to deal with these little tiny screws. And this is great because I always would just leave screws laying around and then I would lose them. I've had the Dell XPS 9710 for over six months now, eight months, I guess. I've been very happy with it. I buy a lot of devices because I make videos on them and whatnot, but I've been very happy with the device in general. The keyboard is my least favorite thing about it, but as far as performance, I think it's been pretty good. All right, so now there's all the screws out. And now, how am I supposed to get this thing open? Everyone says it's a pain, so let's give it a shot. I so we just need a, one of these little tar pick looking guys. And then let's try. Get in there, it's not gonna be easy. It's my goal is to not scratch it, of course. So I'm trying to use this plastic one, but I don't think it's gonna work. Try a different one. No, it does not work. All right, so I didn't want to use this guy, but I guess I'm gonna have to use this little pry tool guy. I'm gonna try it back over here somewhere. Yeah, that gets right in there. All right, so let me get that in there and then try to get this guy in there to pop it. There we go. I just scratched this shit out of it. Keep lifting the lid up here, make sure I didn't turn it back on. I did. That's a problem. All right, so now we shut it off. And we don't want to open it. I think I finally got it. Well, now to open it again. So for feet. Alright, so that was absolutely terrible. This guy did not want to come off. Pretty sure I scratched it up. If I had to do it over again, I would much rather just bought this with all the RAM it needed up front. But I didn't, so now we gotta do this. So here are the RAM slots behind these little sheaths here. If uh, you want to put a new drive in here, it's one of these guys. One of them is the existing and one is empty. And here's your battery, of course. You want to disconnect your battery somewhere over here, but in theory, yes, you should disconnect your battery. I'm just going to replace the RAM, so I'm not going to worry about it. So the new RAM, I ordered directly from Dell because I got a good price on it. It is the one on both sides, of course. The old RAM is under these little flips, and there's little clips here that you just pop them off and they pop right up. A little springboard action. Take that guy out. You can see there's nothing on the back of this one. Don't drop your RAM like that, that's a terrible idea. And it should just go in one way here. Once it snaps into place, it's in place there. And we can spin them back around. Same thing here, we'll just those clip up. 
pop you right out. Keep in mind the orientation. Yeah, the Dell logo on top on this one. Yeah, you don't have to buy Dell RAM, but sometimes Dell's products can be wonky, but there we go. All right, so there is, now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see this one's the empty slot. So if I wanted to put another SSD in there, I could. Now I wish I would have that ready now. I didn't think I was gonna need to do that now, but I didn't realize how horrible this would be to take apart. I don't believe I damaged anything here, but I think I definitely scratched up sides this a little bit. Hopefully, to go back on, this should be a lot easier. All right, I'm gonna screw it back in, but I'm gonna open it up first to make sure it's working, because I don't want it to unscrew it and then re-screw it. And the fact that it's coming on and not bursting flames is a good sign. It's recognized right off the bat, the memory has changed. You can see that saying, it's saying alert, the mouse sister memory has changed. That's fine, hit continue. All right, so now we're coming on. And so we are up and running. Let's go to our friend task manager. And so you can see two of two slots used, 21 gigs available, 10 gigs in use, 3200 megahertz. So that's pretty good. Like I said, I've run some benchmarks already on the other one. So now we'll check it out with the 32 gigabytes of RAM. I can't imagine it's not gonna be better. All right, so again, putting the RAM in is super easy. And it is cheaper to buy the RAM separately than do it yourself. Taking this thing apart is such a pain. I wish I would have just bought the 32 up front, but now I know I have the good memory, but this was the Dell memory. I think they just do the bad memory on the cheaper memory, but if you do them the larger capacity, I think you get the better ones, but too late now. All right, thanks. In case you're wondering, yes, I am gonna screw these back in, but I don't know that you wanna watch all of that. But of course we can just start in one corner and work our way back around. But again, I don't need to film all that. All right, one good point is that these are magnetic. So the iFixit kit has been great. This laptop was terrible to take apart. I had every piece I needed in here and more in the iFixit kit. And I liked it a lot. And again, I paid up my own money. No one sent it to me for free or anything like that. You know, I did break one of these in here, but it came with plenty in case I needed more. So the major pain was Dell's fault for making this laptop so hard to take apart. But the iFixit tool kit made it as easy as it's possibly going to be. The hard part was just this laptop. And I think if you had another laptop that not the Dell XPS 9710. It would be a lot easier to take them apart. So yeah, uh, I highly recommend this kit. I've used it for a handful of things. I haven't filmed it, but as far as just, this is what its intended purpose is, and it's been great. It's, I don't know I could have done this without it because I don't have these kind of tools. I will have lost those screws. I probably have worn a pry tool and I'm gonna broke it and it wouldn't have worked. So the iFixit kit, save the day here. All right, thanks.